Beep, 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 beep. Welcome back to your Hughes Group Jack's monthly market update. Let's talk about July. Hi, I'm Aaliyah Hughes Simpson with Hughes Group Jacks. And I'm Wendy Hughes with Hughes Group Jacks. So we're in July of 2023. I hope you had a great 4th of July. So we're reviewing the June statistics. And, um, you know, just to start off a little different, I had a client reaching out to me saying, you know, they were waiting for prices to go down and um, they couldn't believe where prices were going. And then they looked up online how many people moved to Florida a day. Yes. And they said a thousand people are moving to Florida a day. And it helped them realize why our prices are so stable and why economists are expecting it to go up. So, Wendy, talk about some of the trends that we're seeing right now. Yes. So, we just looked at some statistics. And the average um, home price in all of the United States, which, of course, that's a huge territory. Mm-hmm. The median. The median sales price is 437 That's in all of the United States. Right. Well, guess what? The median sales price here in Northeast Florida is 398000 So that's why mm-hmm. people that are coming from outside of Jacksonville, Northeast Florida area, think, oh my goodness, you know, it's a good deal. I will say mm-hmm. that that number has come up for us here in Northeast Florida. Um, so we used to be a lot more, but we've had so many people coming that they've kind of heard the secret. Right. And so, you know, we are so, we're hearing, like you just said, that people are like, oh, I'm waiting for prices to drop. Well, did we have prices drop? We did have prices drop. In February, our prices went down to, let me pull that really quick because I forgot, 365 was our median sales price in February. And everyone always says, well, I'll buy when prices go down. Well, did you predict that prices were going to go down in February and that they wouldn't pick back up? Because that's, you know, they're picking up back up now. Yes. So your dip has passed. So our question to you is, if you're waiting for prices to drop, you tell us when you predict that it's going to happen. Because it happens before you even realize it. You, when you're, you know, trending down, you never know where it's going to stop. Right. But until you're in the future and you can look back over the trends. So now that we we see over the, since February, prices have continued to rise. So we were at 365 and now we're at 398. So just about 400000 as a median sales price. Right. What else are you seeing, Wendy? So one thing that we are seeing is... Um, um, sellers are getting 98% list to sale. So, you know, only like a 2% decrease of what they've listed for. Mm-hmm. And um, and then we are seeing that 17% of all sales uh, close over the list price. So we are, we still see some multiple um, offer situations, not as much, but 17%. Right. And then we're also seeing um, that our month's supply of inventory is lowered. Mm-hmm. And... Um, so it's low, not yep. lowered, it's low, still at two, two and a half months, um, which uh, remember a normal market is four to six um, months. Right. And so another thing that's pretty interesting to me is um, our new listings. Um, we are seeing some more come on the market, mm-hmm. and we're seeing an, um, that influencing our days on market. So our days right. on market are 32 which, you know, at the beginning of the year, we were seeing it like 50 days on the market. So now right. you can see prices have gone up a little bit. Our days on market have gone down. And our um, months of supply are staying around average of between two to three months. Which up. is still a seller's market. Yes, which is still a seller's right. market. Right, so when you're looking for a deal, even in January and February, 10% of homes were selling over asking. And I think the lowest it got was like 96% of asking price. So if you got 4% off a home, you were getting a deal. So I think the moral of the story is that um, the positive is we're seeing consistent home prices in Jacksonville. We're, you know, not expected to go down. Um, So when you own a home, you want it to maintain that equity. If you're Mm -hmm. a buyer, you want to buy a home that's going to maintain and grow its equity. You know, we used to see 20%. Maybe we're going to see that 3 to 5% year over year. So you're not going to be able to sell your house, you know, after you've owned it for only a year or refinance after only a year, like maybe you were doing in 20 or 21. But we're still ma- maintaining our prices and growing in equity. So it could seem a little overwhelming to a local because it is higher prices than, than you were looking for. But yes. the good news is that you'll keep that equity. That's right. And so re- remember that everybody's situation is different. Mm-hmm. And so that's why it's best to reach out to us. We can certainly do an analysis. Um, if you're a seller, the same way with a buyer. And so you can um, determine like what your monthly payment would be and what you could get for your budget. So we hope to hear from you soon and make sure that you um, hit the like button and subscribe and reach out to us here at Hughes Group Jacks.